Well guys, I would have tried to explain to you what I was doing, but I was warming up the engine before I started it and it didn't want to start. Well, it started, but it's got, got air in the line someplace. Anyhow, a uh, real good gentleman called me um, last night and asked me if I had any white oak up here. And I really didn't know what I was going to do with that log. <clears throat> but he started explaining to me how he wanted that sawed. So after he wants a quarter sawed, and I know how to quarter saw, but he has a particular way of doing things, which is fine because that gentleman has sawed more wood probably in his lifetime than, than you can imagine. Just about every barn around this, this area, northern Montgomery County, he's probably sawed the wood for it. I mean, we're talking wood barns, pole barns, just about everything you can imagine. He's been sawing probably for... 55 years. He's the one that donated the sawmill to the uh, Friends of the Farm Park and then it's his sawmill wore out sawmill up at uh, Carroll County that we're trying to get going back together and he has sawed more wood on that that mill And he's got I don't know a couple others at home. I think he's got another one over to Poolsville Anyhow, he's getting up there in age. I think he's 86 or 87 now, so he's he sold his sawmill got rid of his sawmill, but he needed some uh white oak for a project and I said I got just a log because I didn't really know what I was going to do with this and so he said square it up on all four sides then he said do this do that do this and I said wait a second I can't remember that I said why don't you come on up here and we'll just kind of saw it together so he's going to be up here helping me uh, saw it or sawing it I, I don't know so I wanted to put one through the mill just to see if it was going to work it because this one here is white oak didn't know whether I'm going to find any more metal in it or not. Um, doesn't look to be, like I said, it wasn't a desirable log. So you got a knot in it here, and it, I guess that limb came through and another one there. Um, but it's it's uh, doable now. I'll probably pull it up. I'll probably back it up here and pull it down onto the bucks, bunks because you don't want to leave an oak like that sitting on that uh, thing. I don't have a sawdust drag yet. I haven't come up with a solution for that. And I don't have any wheel wheel wipers or trackway cleaners um haven't really decided what i'm gonna do there either which is just a couple things i don't have any of the log turners in fact i don't even have my have half my stuff here to uh i only got the one i only have hut chewy here so Basically what I think he wants to do is have a flat on it on each side because it stabilizes it I think we're gonna cut it cut it down the center, but it might be checked out It might not give him what he wants if not. We'll just find another log for him, but um, That's what we're gonna do. So probably gonna saw that on Sunday, but you might not see this till Sunday. So you might not see that till Now I'm gonna put this one on tonight I'll put this on tonight as a teaser yeah, that's it. A teaser. Um, anyhow, the old engine didn't want to start up and stay running. It looked, seems like it had a gulp of uh, air in the lines, which is kind of frustrating. I think that's what uh, Jeffrey was having problems with. So, And I think uh, Mark had problems with it, too. That's the first time it didn't want to start after it was down for a while. Um, so that's what's going on there. I thought you'd kind of like that sawmill thing. I'm going to probably grind that those chips up I didn't feel like taking the taking the tin off the rollers and rolling it down to the end that would be the easiest thing to do I'm going to tap this airline today looks like it says it's a one quarter looks like a plug inside of a plug to me anyhow I need that for my loader over here <clears throat> and a lot of airline I've been looking researching airline I don't know what kind of airline to get I'll have to hodgepodge a bunch together to get it over here but I don't like the looks of my tire on my loader it is getting to be a little bit squished like so I want to get some air in there I these are tubeless tires in these things I, I don't know how any idea how they exactly work um, and it's a big valve up inside of there um, there's the cap I put air in it before that's the cap for the cap yeah that doesn't look good to me I, I don't like the looks of that so we're gonna get an airline that's that's gonna be my source of air I need probably over 100 hundred foot of uh, airline and I was 
looking for different airlines, different airlines, different airlines, and um, I was just going to go buy a hundred footer, and then I was going to buy a reel and hang a reel up over here, and then I went back to their old memory. You know, them squirrels eat those eat those lines like they're going out of style. So I'm not really. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, so anyhow, that's where we're at today. Here's here's the old old mill. <laughs> It did, it did cut, it didn't, didn't cut too bad. I don't know how the teeth are. It's been a while since I played with the teeth on this thing. Eh, they're all right. Actually, they don't feel, they don't feel half bad. They only feel a quarter bad. I gotta go down in the pit. See the orange thing? Um, it's a, uh, tree wedge for sawing, dropping a tree. I'm going to go up and drop a tree. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up and make, make a hanger for you guys to hammer me with. That's what I'll do now. I kind of scoped it out, put a yellow yellow thing on it. i got to go get my chainsaws and all that kind of stuff, and I'll probably have to um, I'll probably have to get uh, the bobcat out and pull it down because it's going to be a hanger. Can you see how thick the woods are? There's no way you're going to try to drop a tree in the middle of it and not have a hanger. So there's where we're going. To, that's what I'm going to go do next. I'm going to go drop a tree. So thanks for coming along. It does run. I'm going to, I guess I've got to start it up and back it up a hair. I wasn't thinking when I shut the engine off. Take that log off of the, uh, take that log off the uh, carriage and, um, that's where we're at. So thanks for coming along. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to see this thing getting sawed up in a few days, um, hit that bell icon and it'll let you know every time I drop a movie. You guys know all that stuff. We'll see you. Bye-bye now.